Yeah. We're ready. Can we go now? How about our sound guy, Dazza, all right? <laughs> Did you care? Yeah. It's this just bike. every week we rock up yeah. and something new. I don't know if he's trying to... I don't know if he's keen on you or me, but every time we rock up, every time we rock up here, he's dressed to the nines, he smells a treat... He smells and good. ...and he's perfectly manicured. What, do you, what have you got on? Des, what, what do you wear? Sauvage. Sauvage. Oh, I thought it was cool water. <laughs> Sauvage. <laughs> what, you... what was your go-to? What was your go-to cologne when you are going out? Oh, Izzy Miyake. Was it? Yeah, you? Mine was Fahrenheit. Oh, I used to love Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Did that. He'd never missed a trick. Oh, really? Oh, if I put the Fahrenheit on, yeah. I knew I was coming home with somebody. Which was the CK1. Remember CK1 was big there for a little huge, while? Huge, huge. CK1. I put spray on CK1. I promise two minutes later, it, you couldn't smell it on me. Really? So then I'd go crazy with it. Oh, yeah. And it would literally be dripping down my neck. I'd put so much on. And then oh, yeah. I must be not a non-smeller. Yeah. Because wherever I was going, they, weren't, they, weren't they were going, one. mate, how much cologne have you put <laughs> yeah. on? Just a couple What's of drops. What's wrong with you? You know, my other go-to one in the early day was Yoop. I remember, remember Yoop. Yoop in the, what ever in happened the, to Yoop? I think Yoop. I think Yoop. Became obsolete. Oh, really? um, there might have been, might have been Glenn Twenty was very similar to it. <laughs> there wasn't a lot. There wasn't. But Ute was good. I remember. I remember going, wearing Ute one night to oh, uh, juice, juice. Juice. I wore Ute at Juice. You wore Ute at Juice. <laughs> it was honestly. You could miss. It was like bees to a honeypot. It was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, uh, that's so. You good. know what I reckon Daz wears, uh, by the way, perfume wise. What? Sex Panther. Sex Panther. <laughs> Oh, oh. Six. Remember that? What cologne are you going to go with? London Gentleman or... Wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Blackbeard's Delight. No. She gets a special cologne. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. Yep. It's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it up. Sorry. Good this way. Now... Yes. First order of business, please. Yes. Are we, is Millsy anywhere oh, in yes, our future? Yes. Well, is, he, is, he, is he done with his kingship well, talk, from Moomba? T- or what is the next step here? Talking of Sex Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Millsy. Um, I've had dialogue with Millsy again. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Are you, now, are you fair to come, Mate, you, when you say you've got dialogue, is it a text or are you talking to him? We're talking. We're talking on the phone. It's never right. going to happen. Well, I'm talking, he's listening. All right? So... <laughs> Uh, it's not going to happen. I'm calling it. If you leave any messages, that doesn't count as talking, mate. No, no. So you've actually got to converse. So he's told me because he's doing rehearsals at the moment. He's got a For lot what? on. Well, the play he's got down at the theatre. All right. So <laughs> right. he's got a lot on it. Don't ask me what play or what theatre because he wants to tell us that himself. Right. He has told me he categorically. Be, yeah. Next episode, he's in. Okay. Second question. Yes. Does he know why he's coming in? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't mentioned France. <laughs> you I told you that. How are we going to do but that? I did, because... I did tell him that that your wife is your wife because of him. Yeah, okay, good. But that's all I've said. And my two kids. The only reason my two kids are alive is because of is him. Is because of him. Because of him. That is unbelievable. It's amazing. What a burden to carry. <laughs> what a burden to carry <laughs> for, the king, ne- for the kingship. I actually need him to come to my house and say, hell, listen, this is the story. Yeah. How do you reckon? I mean, oh, Trish, him Trish knows the story, but my kids don't know the story. Should I... Tell my kids why they're alive. No. Now, now, now I'll tell you why. Now, now, this is really important because you taught me this 12 years ago on radio. Okay. It's okay to fib. Yeah, that's true. To your kids. It is. About most topics. Is that, if Just it ma- to make them be the people that they need to be. If it makes their life better, it's okay it to lie. And sometimes they don't need to know the brutal truth that mum was third in line. She's <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Sometimes oh, they don't need to know that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Trish, if you're listening, please. You're number one, baby. You're no, number you're, one. She was number one by the oh, end of the night. One. But you didn't know her before the night, so it's not her fault yeah, that she was number three. Yeah, well, but, oh, hey, but you think about gosh. this. But if, hey, you, if you go... So Nikki Hilton, yes, Paris Hilton, then Trish. Trish. My goodness, it's a good me. company. We're talking about a podium of p- all podiums. It's there. a good company. It's a yeah. great podium. It's a nice recovery, yeah. by the way. And, nice being, and being bronze in that podium <laughs> is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Hi, oh, baby. I'll so anyway, home. so Millsy will be I'll on. Be home soon. <laughs> Mil- 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 you won't be getting in the house. <laughs> Millsy will be speaking to us uh, next episode, guaranteed. Uh, okay. Have you got any civil selfishness up your sleeve? Because I notice. 
on uh, our socials mm. uh, that Judy has uh, tweeted something which is very, very good. Do you want me to run through it? Yeah, have, that'd have be good. Have you been checking yeah. our socials? No, no. Or, yeah, I, you I, don't I, check anything, do you? Well, no, I haven't checked them. What do you check? <laughs> um, what do you check? Honestly, in your life, what do you check? What's a daily something that you check? Um, what do I check? News.com? <laughs> I was going to say your beer fridge. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, no, I don't news. check. News.com? I don't, news.com. So you, he's going to, get me through. You wake up. Emails first. Bang. So you go straight to the phone. Straight to the emails. Push emails. Well, straight, straight to WhatsApp and personal messages. Yes. Then emails. Yes. Then news. Yes. Then weather. Yes, and then and then, di- he- and then diary. So when does the doona come off? <laughs> After I've looked at the diary. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'll check the diary the night before to make sure I've got nothing on first thing in the morning. What time is that most days? What time do I get up? Yeah. Uh, Wednesdays I'm up at 4.30 a.m. Wednesdays? Every, other day, oh, of every other day I like to be up before 9, um, sometimes before 12 if I've, if I've had a bit of a sleep in. What would you do if you didn't have Wednesday golf? How would you, how would you Ooh, a good question. get rid of... You know, just the garbage that we men like to get rid of on a golf course. I don't think it'd happen. I've, I've got to do. I've got to have something. I didn't take up. I don't know. Oh, gym. The gym. Gym or something. No, you, to, mate, you did that I'm not much a gym time person, in the gym. Yeah. How much you fishing? I do fishing. You do fishing. I'd go fishing. I'd have to have. So I don't. I normally work on weekends. So normally mm. Wednesday's my go-to day. And same as you. What would yeah. you do without golf on a Wednesday? No, I'd be miserable. You'd be headless. I'd be miserable. I'd be a miserable. I saw human you during being. COVID. You were crazy. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, you I, were crazy, crazy. I lost my mind yeah. during COVID. I was one. Of, you threatened violence amongst a lot of people. Yes. And I thankfully, did. Trish was there. No, but Trish was there. Yeah, Trish held she you back like that. Put a, a hand on my shoulder and said, ease hey. up, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, cowboy. <laughs> Sit down. What's, what's uh, Marco's morning routine? Yeah. My morning routine? There's a lot of facial <laughs> rubbing in. No, well. You put cream on. Every day. Uh, no, I put cream on. Do you put on cream on every day? Three times a day. <laughs> three times a day. Oh, geez, he does. Three times he does. a day. He does. That's true. After the shower, cream. Got it. If I get home and I feel a bit dry, cream. Yep. And then before I go to bed, a bit of cream. So three times creaming per day. That's right. How many pairs of socks per day? Three. Three Minimum. pairs of socks per day. Minimum. What, what, why? why? Well, the, there the, is no one else on the planet <laughs> that changes their socks three times a day. Because <laughs> huh. I had a fungus on my feet. Years I, ago. I had foot fungus. I had foot From fungus. Golf. And you didn't know I had foot fungus. And I remember the day we were about five years into our partnership. Yep. And I said, hey, have a look at this. And I took my socks off and showed you. And you're actually the reason that I wear three pair of socks a day. Because your horrified face. You and look you look like a lizard. You probably don't remember this. But you were frightened Gusting. of what my feet looked like. Yeah, I know. And it wasn't long after that I thought that you were a blue tongue lizard. I might have a problem here. You got scales. So I actually went to the doctor. You had to. And the doctor said it's because of my feet have been moist for a long time. Not many people like the word no, moist. I do. Do you? Love moist. I don't know why I like. So, I, I quite like moist. No one else. What's everybody wrong with loves moist? moisture. Now this is where you use the word moist. Where? When you're talking about cake. Oh, yes. If your cake is moist, oh, it's gold. You, want, you want to eat it. That's right. Mm, mm. Anyway, it's no good when you've got moist feet. No. And, of course, when I played golf, I put my foot joys on basically when I yeah, got every to the day. golf course. And I wore those foot joys and I've got sweaty feet. And my feet were moist. Some and would call him lizard man. They got this fungus. Anyway, she was the one who recommended that I wear three Pairs of socks. At least and look socks happened. a day. Look what's happened. And my feet got better. They're perfect now. And now I'm stuck with this rotten sock habit. Yeah. And I won't, because I'm scared. You don't have the fungus of... anymore. We got rid of that. No, but I'm, I'm happy to say I've, my feet are. Uh, no, they're perfect looking, now. Looking pretty good these well, days. Well done. Now, were we talking about civil service? Yeah, we were, talking about... we're talking about Judy. Now, Judy has got in contact with us, and I feel, I feel this is a very good point, and it's a point that we have missed so far in our journey. Okay. Go. On a couple of bikes, a couple of beers. Judy speaks about. When you enter a street, and it's a busy shopping street. Yeah. Now, where Judy lives is a is a, a place called Armadale, and there's a very busy strip on High Street, Armadale. Mm-hmm. So Judy will quite often see a car or somebody step into their car and put the lights on. Now, that is a signal. Well, the heads of lights. No, just the lights. Parking lights go on. That's a signal that you're about to leave. Oh, you're out of there. So what Judy will do in that circumstance will pull up, put the indicator, put on. her indicator on, and patiently wait. Well, I'm seriously in love with Judy right now. For her to get out of that spot and make my day a little bit better. She's doing the right thing. 
that person in that car takes that moment with the brake lights on no. to check every email, to call grandma, <laughs> to make sure the kids on Life 360 are where they're supposed to be. Yep. <laughs> and then, you know what you do in that situation? You pull up beside them and you go, toot, toot. And you look in there and they're still on the phone with their... That is civil selfishness. 101. That is the most especially selfish busy, human imaginable. That is, the, and especially in a busy one-way, not a one-way, but a single-lane yes. street. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. That, well done, Judy. Thank you for pointing that out. I, I, the, I, don't, I don't want to keep going. I'll even go one step further. They're idiots. Yeah, they're bad. They're bad. Idiots. They're very, very bad people yep, yep. that live amongst us. I've got another one, but I've just been talking for the last five minutes, so I'd like you to come up with yours, please. Um, vaping has become a big, <sighs> big thing. It's the worst. Yeah. I haven't I haven't tried it yet. Don't. But I have smelt. I have smelt Smells pineapple nice. and raspberry Quite. and strawberry, and they smell all right. They smell delicious. They do smell all right. But for goodness sake, have you been around someone who's vaped? No. Who's vaping? No. They blow it, right? So they blow it out. It's more smoke than smokers, well, right? Well, I don't know if it's smoke or if it's steam. I don't know what it is. What do you it's call like it? A, it's What's like a, I would call term? it a puff of smoke. Haze. Right, a puff. A puff of, no. A puff of a something. Puff or a puff of smoke? Well, I don't know, but it's, it's a, a big, puff of smoke. It's a, but it's maybe it could be a puff a, of smoke. Maybe it's a puff of vape. Yeah, it could be a puff of vape. So it's pretty bad. Do va- I can ask? Is there designated vaping places, Areas. or do you have to vape where you smoke? I imagine you're vaping where you're smoking. Really? Yeah, I've walked out of the I MCG have seen, lately. I, well, that's it. I've seen people vaping in the MCG. I've seen people vaping in building offices. Yeah, like in normal spots where yeah. you shouldn't smoke. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is that the rule? I don't know. That's not well, right. they wouldn't have legislated yet, would they? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so where's the selfishness? Well, do it around. Oh, okay. Other smokers, don't do it around me. Yeah, okay. Don't That's do it enough. in public places, pal. Don't poof your vape in my direction. And I don't reckon you should be allowed to vape in front of kids under the age of 18. Yeah, that's fair enough. I tick that off. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's very, very good. No problems whatsoever. But on the back of that, I've got an idea. Here we go. I've got an invention. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> what about if we had a vape yes. with a built-in <laughs> exhaust fan? That, that, so you blow it out, but then it sucks it back in. So, yeah. so how good's that? It's good. It's good. The building like exhaust fan vape. Could you? Would you? Could it? Would it be like a on a hat and you'd blow it up in the air a, and the vape would go sucked over your head? Of course, it's in a hat, Mark. <laughs> so, Tyler's hat. That puff of vape yeah. would disappear. Disappear through your hat and out the other end. Out the other end would be fresh air. So you'd be just walking along the street, having a vape, and All you'd right. have like an exhaust down the top of your hat. And that's the only <laughs> exception you get to not vaping where you're not supposed to be vaping. <laughs> Very nice. The exhaust fan on a vape. Oh, that'll be invented shortly. I'm pretty sure it will be. That will be invented shortly. Mm. Well done. Um, can I just give you one more, please? Yes. I was driving to the Gamby the other day. Don't ask me why, but well, I was. Were you doing a bit of rowing? My, you no know one else goes to the no, Gamby unless you're rowing. My son was rowing for the oh, first yeah. time, right? All right, can we just talk about You've got your son into rowing. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? It was a bad decision. It's a lot of early mornings. It's a lot of early... Are, is, are you committed to those or is Trish? I'm committed. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> yes. Anyway, he loves it. I know it. Kelly. In fact, he loves it. I so know Kelly I know Kelly, and I know yeah. what he does. He'll be out of this phase in no, in no more than four years. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be right. It's okay. Anyway, so I'm driving to the head of the river. On a lake, mind you. Yeah. So don't yeah. ask me why, how that gets mixed up. I think the Goldman River must be in the background there somewhere no, or something. Not. It's just Nagambi Lake. It's in the Gambi Lake. Call it the head of the there river. Is no long ri- lake. There is no river that flows well, into the Lake Nagambi. Well, I don't understand it. Anyway, it's pretty early in the morning, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's seven a.m. Yeah, it's early, and I'm in a part of this freeway that you're able to do 110 kilometres an hour. Awesome! And is that the most magnificent feeling that when you see that 110? The Hume Freeway, the Hume Highway. Of course, you set the car if you're smart. Oh yeah. On 113 or 114, just underneath the radars, and you can just cruise. Well, it's not. It's not even setting it above because there's always a three-kilometer uh, variance. Yeah, that's right. Because no. No yeah. uh, radar is correct. Oh, mate, if you're sitting at 110, you're missing out on four or five clicks. I'm tipping you're a loser. <laughs> anyway, yeah. that's what my radar was set on, yeah. and I was enjoying myself. Absolutely. It was beautiful. Music got, on? Mate, I'm tapping my feet on the floor, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. just everything's going beautifully. What were you listening to? I was listening to you too. Were you? Yeah, I love you too. Really? Okay. What's yeah. up? Uh, with or without you. With or yeah, good, good. Right, right. So I'm cruising along, singing along to With or Without You, mm. having a great time. 
And I see a little sign saying road work ahead. I thought, geez, the boys are starting early. Starting early, early up in Gambia. They're anyway. starting early. And then 110 goes to 80. And then it says 40 ahead. Okay, well, we've got to be safe. So I'm going, aren't you ruining my day? I was cruising <laughs> along beautifully. Yeah. We get to the 40s, and now there's just one thing left to see. What is it? The road work. And the workers Where working in this 40 zone. And what were they doing? They weren't there, Docs. Oh, what? <laughs> they weren't there. They'd left the signs up. It was just, what, from the night before? From the night before, obviously. Very annoying. Oh, no. Was it raining? And this 40 zone, they must have been cutting grass or something. Was it raining? They, no. The 40 zone lasted for 10 minutes. Yeah. And there was not a worker hate that. on this highway. Was it? So with the roadworks, it's got, you've got to be between 20 and 24 degrees. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> yeah. tools down. Tools down. So that's what it must have been. It must have been 26 degrees. No, mate. I reckon. Oh, I hate that. I reckon it was Friday night. So this was a Saturday morning when I'm doing oh, it. Oh, they forgot. Friday night. Oh, they had drinks. They had a barbecue They've had on. drinks out the side they're there and they have forgotten about them. And they've punished every driver on that road the next day. I reckon if you had have gone down to the lake, you would have seen them down there having a barbecue and doing some fishing. <laughs> in, in, the, in, the, in their high-vis and their lollipops. Oh, Can I just go one step yeah, further yeah, yeah. With, with my morning? Yeah. So it's the first time I've seen my son, Ro. We get yeah. down there. I've got my binoc- binoculars. And he's at the 1,000 metre mark, all right. set to go. Here we go. He's right next to the Cox. He is in the number one team. Yep. And he sets the tone all right. for the other three. Okay. Binoculars on, puff of smoke, go, a, a puff of vapour goes up. <laughs> <laughs> and off they go. Yes. And I see oars going bloody everywhere. It's not unison. It's not teamwork. I'm thinking, oh, no. what the hell is this kid doing? Oh, he's, anyway, he's, he's out of tune. The whole, the whole four of them are, are lost at sea. They don't know what's going oh, no. on. And this is the anyway, number one side. Fight. This is the number one team. <laughs> so they go past me and they're catching up. They, they would have won, no doubt, if they got off to a decent start. He comes past me. I said, what's the problem? What happened? He goes, the first stroke I made, my seat broke. Uh. And the poor little bugger <laughs> had to go without oh. a seat. <laughs> he had to go up and down on this steel thing. You know, like the rowing machine, you know, your typical oh, rowing machine in the that, gym. How's his, that seat has broken. How's his bum? His bum's got blisters. His, bu- his, his hands have got like, blisters. His bum would look like your feet. That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, hey, talk about music. You're U2. Yeah, I love U2. I know you love U2. Yeah, I do. Everybody knows this. My taste and your taste in music is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you and I are pathetic. Hey, we, we, are got, pathetic. We, we, we are pathetic. We but don't I've have actually, much idea. I've actually changed a bit in the last three or four years. You have? I've changed a bit. My kids have educated me. Can I get your top five bands and I'll give you my top five bands does that include, of all time? Does that include individual singers? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yes. so top five artists Just or bands. Just top five artists or bands, oh, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a swap next. Done. You're having a couple of beers with a couple of blokes. This is Ox and Marco. And when you get a sec, we'd love you to subscribe and rate the podcast. Hey, buddy, um, just before we yeah. were trying to get our top five, have you finished your top five? Because I want to get there and I want to get there soon. Don't give it to me now. My top five are almost tattooed on my arm at the moment. <laughs> top I five mean, singers sing- or artists? Or singers and artists. Right. Because I'm, I'm right into my music, as okay. I said. So, you, so you're finished. Just while I'm tidying up, um, I spoke about your homework with Milzy. Mm. Tick. All tick, done. tick. Tick, tick. Milzy on next episode. Not Dan had some homework oh, too. Oh, Remember, we we're talking about Heather, Heather McKay. Heather McKay. Who'd, who'd never lost a game of squash in her whole life, and, and we found out that she was still alive. Mm. But we, we wanted to Thankfully. get her on the show, Dan. So, what's the latest? Um, okay, so I did suss that out, and I've got an email here from Squash Australia, which sounds like a formal body. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Dan. Thanks for your email. Unfortunately, Heather is no longer doing any media, and has asked that any requests are politely declined. We will be happy to connect you with many of our other squash legend uh, legends. If so, please let us know, and no. we will facilitate. No. Bullshit. No, we want. I he- call bullshit. We want Heather. Heather is not involved with squash, squash yeah. Australia anymore. Well, no hang on, you, you call. Let's me go out. direct. I'll get it. I'll fix it. Well, You've got hang on, it. she's just politely said she doesn't want to she do it. I don't care. Do anything. It's talking in the third person, so that's not coming from Heather. Hey, hey, hey. 
What would Heather Mackay do in this situation? She wouldn't give up. Of course she wouldn't. So we are not giving up. No way. Heather Mackay. Well, no I, I thought... the world. Well, I thought Rena from Squash Australia's email was quite polite. And you guys, I reckon, need long, long outlook. No, answer. Rena. We're going to go behind your back, Rena. Sorry, Rena. We're going to go yeah. not only behind your back, but over your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to the top. All right, so... I've got my top five. Mm-hmm. I want to, now. This is how we're going to work. Okay, so one I, for I, one, one for one, and yep. then and Dazza, who likes to wear a cardigan or something that looks like a cardigan, <laughs> they will be the judge of which is better. Can I? And can then I, we'll get a winning score in the end. Can I do one proviso of this? Yeah, go. You None can. of you muppets in here can ask us to name a song that they sing. Yes. Because I'm not good with knowing the names of songs. I'm the same. Yeah, that's fair. Right. It takes me forever to work it yes. out. Yes. Oh, good. I actually have to sing the whole song in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once and we then, get to that bit, know and then we still kind of half don't know. Should we do like a Twitter poll or something maybe? Yes. At some stage, yes. Because my, my top two will be better yeah. than Marco's now, top two. Now, whose top five is better? You can do two Twitter polls. Which top five is better? And <laughs> and then the top two of each of you maybe. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. I like right. that. Yeah, Let's right. go. So I'll go first. My number five, Ice House. Great Australian yeah. band. Good band. Great band. Okay. I didn't realise we are going back that far. Okay. <laughs> uh, mine is Guy Sebastian. <laughs> oh, please. Okay. 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 That's really? a clear win for Alan. You... Oh, you're That's joking. That's a clear win. Clubhouse leader is Mark Allen. Thank you. What? Yeah, you go for you go next. You're number four. You're not seriously saying guy. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not dissing Guy Sebastian. Are you seriously sitting there, Ox, and saying Guy Sebastian is better than Ice House? Absolutely. Well, you're on drugs. Hands down. No, go on. No, you're, no, no you're I'll first. tell you what. I'm not, Ice House might be on drugs because they haven't played together for about four thousand years. This stuff is still good. Still, I still tear up. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Electric Blue or something? No, they, they, did, they, just for, they did play a month ago at the City My Music Bowl. How'd so. they go? They were sold Shit out. out. Sold out. They, sold they, out. Were, oh, they were sold out, but they were terrible from what I heard. <laughs> Come on. They were cold. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, <laughs> Bruno Mars. Ooh, tears for fears. Oh, please. Everybody's Bru- got to rule the world. Has Tears for, uh, Tears for Fears well, ever played at the, the Super Bowl? No. No. You might have me there. <laughs> All right. Now, this one might surprise you. It won't surprise me. Will, Nothing will surprise me with you. I will never back away. And I don't care how much you laugh. There is a lot of talent here. All right. Justin Bieber. No, you're right. Mm. I Thank do. you. I'm glad you took it that way. Okay. You took it in the right spirit. I'm gonna you go, know he's good. I know he's good. I'm going to go one of the same era. Ooh. Almost the same age. Yeah. And probably more talented. No, not Me- than Bieber. Megan Trainer. Oh, my God. I the, don't even know who that is. The, this, okay, this who is, is Megan Trainer. Are you joking? This segment has gone off the rails. Are you, what are you talking <laughs> about off Megan the rails? Who is Megan Me, She's not Trailer. It's <laughs> Megan Trainer. Trainer. Don't you call who her. Is she? You were just about to use that other word behind her name then, <laughs> weren't you? It was going to be trash, wasn't it? You were going to mention trash. Was, I was Dude, building. I was building. Leave that alone. I was building the trash. She's it would have taken about three or four goes to I, get there, but I would have. I actually, can't, I'm amazed you would even have her <laughs> on the list. What do you mean? I'm not saying she's not talented, but we're talking the top five of all time. This is our top five. This is our top five. This is ours, not all time. And, and mine's our, probably a bit newer. Hey, Mark, I'm on your team, Marco. Yours are good. Hey, if you want, I could be predictable. I could give you the Beatles or I could give you a bit of Eagles or any of that crap. Oh, I prefer but this is about Megan Trainor. This is about how you feel right now. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, and all what right. sort of mood That's you're right. in. That's right. Okay, yeah, okay. Motion. Number two. Number two, my go. Yeah. Vance Joy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, Very yeah. good. Very good. Okay. And guess who he played for? The D's? The Pies. Yes, he did. Played for the Pies. So there's added bonus right there. Yes, yeah, okay. Well, I had my standard U2, which oh, I still please. think. I told you about U2. You before. who? Yeah. <laughs> Good drink. <laughs> you remember you? Yeah, the strawberry flavour was yeah, sensational. Yeah, it was very good. It was it was very very good. good. Uh, and number, number one. Number one. Prince. Didn't even name a name in the end, just a symbol. Really? Yep. I'll give you one. Same name, better voice. Hey. Probably the best voice we've ever heard. Whitney Houston. Adele. Oh, yes. Adele's good. She's good. She is oh, good. She's, she's good. good. She's very good. She's just extended her Vegas yeah. from four months to 40 <laughs> <Yes>. years. <laughs> she is a star. Can um, this is this is a lay I, down? Can I give a uh, lay down? Okay, hey, hey, before we get the results, are you so on a wild card? You, no, you no, want no, it, no, no, I've got a confession to make. All right, and I, I actually need the cone of silence for the confession. Oh, I don't okay. want people oh, to know about this. Hang on, hang on, okay. Okay. Can we hang get on, down? get it down. You know, uh, Prince's song Crocodile Tears, mm-hmm. Crocodile Tears. 
For my whole life, I thought it was a crock of dog shit. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I watched it. We'll, we'll get it played. Are you serious? Crocodile shit. That's what it sounds like. Did you think it was crocodile shit or crocodog shit? Crock of dog shit is what Croc- I thought it was for 25 years. I'll give you one little one. Go it's on. the only one I know. What? Well, if you got one of these as well. You know. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Skyhooks. Yeah. It's not a dirty word. It's not a dirty word. I, I, I thought it was eagle. Eagle. <laughs> Why would eagle and be I'm a thinking, dirty word? And I'm thinking they must take golf. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, like, I didn't know what was going on. And I promise you, it's only in the last oh. month or two I found out that it's eco. Oh, my God. How bad am I? That's bad. That's well, bad. I That's much worse than mine. I'm a crock of dog shit. Who would do it? Brought that into the well, lyrics. You decide for yourself. Oh, that All is right. funny. Um, you are, you are funny. Put the science, cut, cut the science up. Hey, just before we get to the joke, and by the way, the reason we do it is because we did a joke segment when we were in our radio careers. Well, together. we started. We loved it. We started. It had never been a dead had, joke. And now they're all And you it. started. Yeah. You started because we needed to find a segment because we had nothing else. That's right. And, <laughs> right now, before, <laughs> and we had no money. No, we had no cash. No cash, no <laughs> contributors, and we thought a, a dead well, joke would work. a dead joke. Um, and before you spin the wheel, because it's my turn to yes. tell a joke. Yep. Have you got Millsy or not for the next episode? Because this is very important. You've had four episodes worth of telling us story after story. Have we got him or not? Okay. If I don't get Millsy on the next episode, yeah. I'll make a $500 donation to any charity oh, of good. your choice. Oh, good. Is that fair? Yeah, it's fair. No, right? Is that fair? Not. Yeah, it's fair. That's good. Oh, well, you're That's the money good. As, right. long, as long as Dan... Gets Heather Mackay within the next four episodes. No, he's Even given... though you've copped a little knockback. Dan knock... gave up. You know what? A knockback is just a knockback. Dan gave up, mate. You, no, we will get Heather Mackay. Yeah. We'll go above Rena's head. That is one thing we will do. Stuff you, Rena. We'll go right. straight. I, I think Rena was lovely, but. Uh, yeah. No. Lovely. Le- Rena she didn't help us at all. She, she, did she didn't nothing. She didn't help us at all. That's a generic email. She didn't even. Yeah. Oh, she, hang on. She didn't yeah. mention uh, so a couple of bites, a couple of beers. So you're going to get a form email, that, a, uh, and I've fallen for it. That's a yeah. cut and paste email from Squash Australia. Mate, I guarantee you, you are making, you are yeah. depositing funds to Nigeria within a week. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay, what about this? Because that's how gullible you are. You know what we could do? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what about this? If we want to find out if that's a form email, we could send another email to Rena. Yeah. Yeah. From someone from else. From someone else. From Millsy. Asking the same from, question. That's, from that's Millsy. Your, that's your next... F- we'll that, get Millsy to we'll send get, one. That's, that's your next idea. homework. That's your next homework. And then let's see if it's a form response. If the king of Moomba can't get her, yeah. you know there's a bit of validity to that email. Oh, hang on. What about if he can and we can't? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, spin the wheel. Here we go. Hang on. Go. Hang, hang on, it's stuck. Hang on. <laughs> it's stuck. Hang on. Hang on. Come on. There, there we go. There we go. Righto. Righto. Good, good, good. And, oh, easy, dad joke. Oh, dad uh, joke uh, it is. That's right. So, my wife has banned me from making any more breakfast puns. Really? She says, if I make any more, I'm toast. <laughs> but, my, <laughs> but, but my kids keep egging me on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not bad, uh, not bad. Uh, yeah. Looking forward Bit to hearing corny. from Millsy. Bit corny. <laughs> yeah, cornflakes. Cool yeah. <laughs> oh. See you. Bang, bang. All right, go, just go and get Millsy. All Let's right. Go. See ya. Well, it's a good show, um, but not as good as it could have been if Ox hadn't failed us for four weeks. Uh, Stop the music for a second, please, producer Daz. This point needs to be really clearly made. Ox has failed now for four weeks to produce Rob Mills, and now he's promised 500 bucks to charity if he doesn't produce him on the next episode. Will Ox let us down again? Hmm, probably. We'll find out next week. We've got a favour to ask. If you can share the podcast with a friend, that'd be great. And don't forget to rate and review wherever you get your podcasts. We appreciate the help. And you can leave us an audio message, if you like, anytime at coupleoflokescoupleofbeers.com.au. Couple of Blokes, Couple of Beers executive producer is Dan Bradley at Kaizen Media and sound design by the cardigan-wearing Daryl Misson from loudzebra.com. 